back in Dennis the Menace days, there were quite a few houses in Hollywood especially, and some I understand in the East, where when a show was finished, they would run it before an audience with some kind of a reaction device. They'd call in an audience free and have them sit with either a button or a lever, depending on what house it was, to show their enthusiasm or lack thereof by meters and, and recording. And they got pretty good at it. At first I debunked those too, but uh, it got to be pretty much that what we thought of or what people I talked to thought of as a funny show got a good rating. So because it became a money problem as much as ever, Screen Gems uh, was probably one of the forerunners, would run a show. They did this with a dentist, which was the first time it was proven to me because I was skeptical myself. It was a job, but I was skeptical of, of the whole thing. Uh, they ran what they deemed to be their... Uh, one of their poorer shows with a laugh track. And then they ran another one the same night, which they thought was their best show without a laugh track, and did it two or three audiences in time to prove it to themselves. And they, the bad show with a laugh track took heads and shoulders over the, uh, over the good show that didn't have one. So I thought, well, maybe the people that are watching like to feel that they're not alone especially at home when they're sitting there by themselves. They like to, to feel that they're just not being ridiculous and laughing. How, how would you know that you did a good job? How would I know when I did a good job? Hmm. I know you go the way with a good feeling. I don't know. You just if, you, if you're allowed to be honest, and I mean, it's been... It was over 30 years that I was doing it. I, I thought in my own egotistical way maybe that I by then I knew what was funny, what wasn't, what was good humor, what wasn't. And though toward the end, you go away with a good feeling if you did a good job. 